What's up, YouTubers? I hope you guys are having a great Friday. Um, in case you happen to to be situated in the you know Eastern Hemisphere, then well, for certain you are you know for certain you have reached Friday. You know the first of uh, August. 2020. Well, in case you happen to be living in the Western Hemisphere, in countries like um, Iceland, United States, Canada, Brazil, etc., then you still have at least um, maybe 10 or 12 hours to go before you can reach um, Friday. Which means you know you can pretty much begin to blow off some steam, you know, by going, you know, by going to the parties with your friends or colleagues, um, and and then you know um, <clears throat> turn on the mood, you know, turn on the rock and roll a bit, or even you know get louder and drunk, etc. So. Yeah, you know, all of those shit, all, all of those shites that you can imagine, um, you know, that might happen at a party, a, at a social gathering event of, of any sort. Um, so enough with the pleasantries and uh, the greetings stuff. Um, so, in fact, I have been planning um, to do this video for quite some time um, since um, it's been almost eight days after the end of my exile slash homelessness and uh, I am yes currently back at my gr back at my grandma's flat um, despite the ongoing intrusive thoughts of murdering her and uh, do something to her corpse you know that just sounds so terrifying and i i i beg your pardon if i have to paraphrase if i had if i have have to paraphrase what i you know you know um you know said um in my previous videos on youtube um i i don't want to cause a panic and i don't want i i certainly don't want youtube to delete my channel for saying something like that you know that that could um constitute um you know that could since that could constitute hate speech or you know um threatening or intimidating to to kill somebody but um um the, the so far as far as i can perceive you know the you know, I'm merely t telling you guys um, what's um, truly what has truly been going on inside my mind from my point of view, and uh, of course that that also brings up an, another you know interesting topic, which means you know we um, you know everything we do, everything um, we think about, can comes at a cost even even you know even for the homeless for people who are currently currently living in exile um in their respective lives um that means you know they also have some costs to pay and uh, um I tend I tend to presume that you know those who are living in exile, um, like I used to several days ago, um, they had to they still have to spend plenty of money and plenty of time to to maintain their own standard of living or quality of life, you know as we speak. Um, so the main topic for this video as far as you can pretty much guess now is you know the cost of being homelessness or um, um, 
spending your your life in a exile you know how how much can it cost if you you know had had to depart from your own home um you know due to some some sort of shit like intrusive thoughts domestic violence um in fights between family members some sort of um, other predicaments etc um it also comes at uh at an ex Surbitant amount of uh, cost um, if you choose to depart from your own household, um, you know, to somewhere else and live there for some time, such as maybe for several months or several weeks, even for several weeks. Um, you know, while we, you know, while we look at the whole picture. Um, living in somewhere else for several weeks won't cost you. Um, that huge amount of money, but but once you know you you factor in the butterfly effects, you know the the or the um, snowball effects, you know the cost can continue to add up to the point where you find yourself um, actually um, already s um, struggling so hard financially. So here I. And uh, um, the reason why I make make the, this video is to give you guys some figures, some numbers, some digits to to tell you one simple fact. Um, um, whenever possible, um, don't live like a prodigal son. Control your spending. Um, don't buy the um, don't buy those um, stuffs, items, all objects, or 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 other kinds of shit that that you don't don't need to survive, that you don't need to do your work, that you don't need to to take a dump, that you don't need to to you know to sleep with such as uh, sex doll but um yes but um, that goes for that I, I will leave such topic to, you know for another video you know or maybe for several other several other uh, videos at a, at a later time when you know when my mental condition or you know when i have done an appropriate and an adequate amount of uh, research beforehand that that means you know making another video yes and that's also another time when we can talk about when we can sit down or lie you know have kind of a, you know semi lying down or sit down and talk about business get to the point you know so when yeah that's another time that um we talk about some uh, some other um sensitive stuffs um, so I just now, yeah, did you know? I I looked up the, you know, my bank statement, and uh, you know I calculated the figures, you know, using my, you know, first of all I gathered the numbers, the figures from the bank statements, um, using my, you know, using a terminal, yeah, and I copied the data to my iPad, you know, the notes app, and then I copy and paste the whole equation to Google and, uh, you know, search and wall. I got uh, quite a tremendous, a tremendously exorbitant number, um, yes. yeah. which is, as you can see in the picture, is that that's quite huge, you know, for a period of, uh, for a period of uh, nearly nearly eight months in fact so far as I can recall I uh, I you know my aunt and another uncle of mine rescued me from the hotel 
at uh, you know on about yeah well several yeah eight days ago yeah so which means um yes i i spent actually more than a, a little bit more than eight months in total you know from hotels you know to hotels you know you know in hotels yeah in total so that's pretty much you know i have pretty much um spent all those all those um hard earned money on um, you know living in hotels D during my time of e exile slash homelessness and um possibly due to my own you know youthful lust after sex dolls uh, after some um dead female human bodies you know and and you know um to make the matters worse i you know i have some other previous mental or maybe also psychological defects perhaps you know um if you take if you you know look look at if you take a good look at my um um you know um social sphere you know i don't have that many friends and i and as a freelancer i i also don't have that um you know i i also don't have um as many people as those um folks who have full-time employment um and we can call colleagues or co-workers one another um so the nature of my current um you know socio-economic um position already dictates and inevit inevitably determined that you know determined um my my mindset you know and therefore you know it it, it has become a vicious cycle um a, a, as far as i fear you know um well uh, of course i know i i i i, I shouldn't you know i've spent um too much time indulging in my fears i have to take, have to take i have to start i have to get um started taking actions to address those fears you know such, such as you know fears of uh, losing everything my old man's left me with you know losing my grandma you know considering her age she is now well actually quite con comparably young um um if you um you know make you know make comparisons you know make comparisons uh, among um other you know Jude's grandma at my age you know yeah it's pretty well maybe i could safely assume that my grandma is still quite young in comparison to other people's grandmas at my age though yeah it's still it um it does not it does not necessarily grant me such um you know sense of security you know because if you um do some math you will soon come to realization that i only have around um um you know a decade maybe you know on maximum to to um um to come out of this um you know shell and sur survive you know completely on my own without any other help from any other person um of course i'm not looking you know i'm not um looking up to 
to to people or hoping others could babysit me for the rest of my life um, but you know um, I, I currently don't have a, a you know a, an ordin an an ordinary um, you know group of people who can accompany me for the most of the time at this particular um, um, residence you know which I still you know um, couldn't help but but um, still call her home since I at least still have my grandma at, at my side by my side though it won't last very long it won't last forever um, so that's one of my greatest fears you know about the future and uh, that, that that's why I have been striving to to become a qualified YouTuber, you know, if not a decent one, you know, to to continue um, practicing my speech, can continue attempting to overcome my fears of giving a speech, of um, speaking with people, and uh, fears like, you know, yeah, um, having to do some hard work in order to change my socioeconomic status or position, etc., so on and so forth. Um, and uh, yeah, you 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 know, I so far the you know my greatest a, 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 another great concern um, you know that I have about myself is I still don't know what to do with my remaining life as a career you know as a career that um, you know pays the government um, you know real and true and genuine taxes um, where and where I can um, write down on my resume as something pre presentable in front of other people, including but are not limited to in, to to employers, right? So I can't just um, well, um, you know, put content creator on my resume, um, you know, while you know while I look for a full time employment, you know. In, in, in any part of, of the entire world, not just um, Australia, not just New Zealand, not just Japan, but also China. In fact, I, I have, I have, I also have other plans um, of seeking full-time employment in motion, and that includes um, seeking some sort of um, full-time employment here in China, in the city I call SJZ. Xi Jiazhong, you know, the, the capital city of Hebei province, in fact. Um, well, no, I didn't um, schedule any voice call with my fellow subscribers or fans or, you know, or people I, you know, whom I got to know about via Discord. Um, but, but maybe tomorrow yes and also tomorrow i have an you know another important thing to take care of which is i have to um um, sh um schedule schedule another um you know a, another meeting or not exactly a meeting but i have to schedule another visit to a, to the same doctor who you know who treated me last time you know and uh, pr prescribed me some medication um yeah you know including some antidepressants and uh, some some sort of um other you know drugs i will include um the pictures of those medications packages you know to to give you guys a bit of a more ideas on you know as to um what sort of um, medication I've been 
taking to address my symptoms and conditions. But, um, well, since each person's circumstance um, differs from one, from one another vastly and profoundly, um, you know, so I just have one, you know, one more ad advice for you guys regarding treating, you know, depression and intrusive thoughts and, you know, you know, things like that. Um, just um, do not, um, do not take those pills without doctor's prescription. At least you should, con um, first, first of all, talk to your family. If, if you don't have any family, um, or or any um, good friends who are kind, who are um, sufficiently kind to 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 give you to give you a helping hand, then I highly suggest that you seek medical attention immediately in your area. Uh, don't don't waste time talking to pastors, preachers. Um, from any Christian church online because they all have their own problems. They are all, all, they all have their own dire need and other dire and um, pressing issues to take care of themselves. Which means they won't have any time for you to address your own problems. So everyone has their own problems. Nowadays, it, in particular, amid of this um, COVID-19 pandemic, it's pretty. It's been. It's become pretty evident that humanity can't save itself. It requires, you know, the ultimate salvation. Well, at least. Um, it seems to me that the ultimate, the true, the genuine, the complete and flawless salvation still, ne um, still necessitates the intervention of the, the, the divine entity that exists outside and beyond this dimension we are currently living in. Which means, you know, say no more. You know, you know exactly. You know exactly whom I'm talking about here. So I'm not gonna, um, um, you know, make further make further comments on, you know, on who he is and who and what he does in order to bring out salvation. And uh, yes, despite my constant um, prayer prayers and. Uh, um, you know, and uh, despite reading the Bible pretty much on a regular basis, reading and studying the Bible pretty much on a regular basis, I still can't, I still can't um, um, keep my lust completely in check. You know, sometimes they still get too intense. Sometimes they stay, um, you know, more often than not, they get, um, they just entice me away from the attention to the Lord, to His words, and therefore I can I keep committing, you know, the same sin over and over by, by fapping in front of some porno and then ejaculate, and then oh that sweet God have mercy, sweet Jesus have mercy. You will see, um, the, the man, the man, man, the means, the mean, you know that that. Um, rage, rage face, you know, I will include that in this video. Don't you worry about it um, What else have I um, Might I have overlooked to mention um, Well Currently all all, all of my um, Siblings, you know, so-called um, siblings are in fact my cousins you know since we we um you know we are you know quite in intimate um friends not only just friends but you know just like brothers 
for another mo for an, for another for another mo mother you know um, since we spent our child childhood together you know for several years you know for maybe for like you know five sorry five or six years sorry maybe three years maybe five years all right I, I can't remember exactly how many years of childhood of childhood we spent you know together you know and uh, had all had those um, wonderful um, memories of uh, you know exercising leadership over you know the entire um, pr sorry not the entire but pretty much half of the entire residential district you know to to share some of my some of my you know not so great not so um, g glorious um, histories with with you guys you know I I technically you know formed a gang here you know in in my you know in this residential um, district where my you know where my grandma's flat is um, s um, situated in you know while I was like while, while, while I was like you know um, 10 or 11 years old um, in primary school um, you know in sorry in yes in primary school year f four until year six as far as I can remember yeah I don't remember you know any more details than the fact that I formed a gang and I you know you know built some some <laughs> some so-called um, stronghold sites all over you know the the eastern ring the sorry the all over the eastern wing of this particular residential district in this city um, you know and we you know we we <laughs> we explored we launched our uh, adventures by exploring the basements all, all over the entire um, district we infiltrate you know the basement of each and every building in this entire residential um, district at, at that time well if you um, rule out you know the newly um, constructed buildings you know all the way from year 2000 and uh, you know seven until this year you know I'm I am certain of, of the fact that um, yes they built you know some more you know a dozen you know maybe a, a few more dozens of uh, flats here after I was sent to Singapore to study at a high school to complete my IGCSE and A levels um, and then to Australia so yeah so I, I just now also also shared some of my you know black histories with, with you guys but nowadays you know I have completely transformed though um, not quite in a positive nor productive fashion um, I still have too many problems to take care of and I don't know how long that that would take and I don't know how much um, how many helping hands I can still manage to gather by by the time I I manage to 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 take care of maybe a fraction of all those problems combined in total summed up you know I don't know by that time how many helping hands I can still manage to gather or you know or so on so so on so forth <clears throat> excuse me just need to get a, some water
to tell you guys another fact I also um, actually planned to make another you know to 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 include some MGTOW count um, contents in this video but um, you know due to the you know the length um, limit um, imposed by this camera by, by either this camera or either by the by the 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 um, the, mem the, the memory card I have to you know um, I have to use my time in front of this camera during filming quite sparingly um, and for that I beg your guys pardon again because you know I um, you know it's actually you know this Canon G7X PowerShot Mark the the set the second is my first um, camera um, that I um, you you know um, saw online and I you know I I kind of uh, you know bought this camera because I I saw a lady named. Erica, you know, Erica Lyon, you know, who 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 often used this particular model of camera before she got another uh, newer one, you know. Um, and you know, I also have pretty much um, zero prior zero prior knowledge when it comes to buying a you know a sophisticated model of digital camera to sh you know to take shootings to make videos um, and also this uh, this lamp maybe it also doesn't um, fit in the the scene the, the shooting scene flawlessly it is still I, I still need to to do my own research to do some homework in order to figure out you know how to adjust the light the lighting condition and uh, and whatnots and uh, um, and I I can pretty much you know be convinced be convinced that it will still take me a whole lot of time before I can get all those things shorted not 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 to mention i have to continue pushing forward with several other projects such as translation projects and uh, you know and its associated um, s um studies and research um and in the meantime i have to look for i have to at least try to look for some full-time employment in the local area in the in the city you know, in in China at least, um, start with China, and then if all if er, everything, um, you know, fails to work here in China, I will then you know try to apply for some, try to apply for for several more jobs in Japan and see how, um, how they treat me, um, and see what they have to offer, and see what I have to offer for them, in return. Um, yeah, I suppose I have talked enough for this filming session. Um, a after I film this, I, I also like to read the Bible aloud um, and film it. So, you know, just to practice my reading, my reading skills, also my um, speeching, my, 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 um, the coherence of my speech in order to overcome um, stuttering if you know if I can't overcome my stuttering for the rest of my life at least I will try my utmost best to minimize it to alleviate it to mitigate it as best as I can if God willing if a million things fall into one place so guys I thank you again thank you thank you Massively, thank you tremendously for watching and listening to my videos. Um, it's especially, yeah, massive 
thanks to Jay Singh who has um, you know, been constantly supporting this channel. Therefore, I gave him a shout out. And uh, there's also another dude, um, a alias, a manly, a manly. Yeah, sorry, I I, I can't remember the full. Uh, I can't even remember the the full a alias. Sorry about that. I beg your pardon. Yeah, there are still some some other um, you know kind and you know, decent dudes such as um, Duality Reality. Yes, in this video, I, I also give you a shout out to express my gratitude for your reassurances and comforting words and comments. Um, yeah, so um, to summarize, Homeless, homelessness and exile all come at a cost and the cost can, can wear you, can wear you down, can, can hang you out to dry, take it to the bank. Yeah, so take care, stay safe and continue to hold the line. Stay faithful. Um, good night. Bye-bye. Cheers.